my name is Mohammad Shakib and this is Master Tech. So today I am going to do uh, installation on a NuGet C CyanogenMode Mode 14 on Redmi Note 3. First thing you have to do is you have to unlock the bootloader which I done and also install the TWRP recovery. If you want to know how to install and unlock the bootloader, which links are down in the description. First, first of all, you have to go going to the recovery. Uh, how you can do it first of all let me power off the device first then you have to press the power button and volume up button at the same time so here we go so now it's uh, boot into the TWRP recovery mode. Once you've done that, you have to go into the wipe and advance. You have to check Dalvik and system data, which is really important. If you want to keep that, you can go with this. So I'm just check and catch. So these things, uh, we have to check this all. Then uh, we have to swipe to wipe there we go so it's done really quickly as you can see this once you've done that you have to go back and back and then you have to go into the install click here and then uh, in my case I have an SD card I pasted on a SD card so to select that and swipe to confirm flash so now it's installing CM14 unofficial cyan engine mod So now it's successfully installed. Then you have to install the gaps file, which is also here. Because so swipe to confirm flash. So now it's installing the gaps file. Here, as you can see this. I think it's pretty much install so now it's completely installed we have to just reboot the system hit the reboot but uh, here just click that and it will automatically so here is a me logo Just wait for the Cyanogen mode boot logo. It's pretty much take uh, a lot of time to first boot up the phone. So please kindly wait for that. So finally uh, the setup screen comes up. It took uh, pretty much a 5 minute or so to boot up the first. So let's just let's select a uh, language here. United States, getting started. And I want to start the new one fresh kind of a laggy uh, so just a little bit of lagginess here. here just a little bit of lag just put my password here real quick just 
Just checking the network. Checking the info. Checking the info. Here is the address I put my email here. Here I can edit my fingerprint which is really good. So now just add a fingerprint. With, uh, I think I go with the pattern here. Next, here, just locate it. So just keep in mind, I'm just trying to do a 360 finger. So now it's already added. Fingerprint sensor is added. Hit next. And what else I can do? Set up later. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a nougat 7.0 ROM uh, cyanogen mod as you can see this this is a nougat itself so let me just brighten this up this is a nougat as you can see this this is as a panel here this is a notification shared and let me go into the setting and just in case you are curious about here are the android version it says new good here there is the new good Pretty much the cat the dash. Nothing happens. Go back. And here it's a cyanogen mod. Cyanogen mod version here. So there is also also the Redmi Note 3. Redmi Note 3 here so just let me quickly show you the camera interface so pretty much stock kind of uh, so that's kind of a good network is coming so good here is my panel and all this stuff So I can edit this uh, and uh, add the hotspot and inverse color to here. If I can drag to the title, I can edit this. So now just go back and just let me just test it out. So now it's back, it's in colors. As you can see this, this is pretty good features uh, I would say, it's really good. Let's go back to the normal and pretty much it guys. So this is the Nougat itself, it's pretty good. I think some bugs in the room which is just heating up the device first time. So. It has a lot of bugs it's still on a developing, uh, developing mode or something, developers. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching guys. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit like, comment, share and more videos like this. Thanks. Peace. Thank you.